contemporary composers find it very difficult, all of them, uh, to get exposure to, to be played on classical music today. And in Roy Harris's case, there's even more difficulty because the subject matter he chose to write about uh, is, has not been accepted uh, in the major concert halls in the United States. And that subject is uh, U.S. history and slavery. Roy Harris, first of all, was, was a dear friend, and I learned so much from him. Uh, Roy was the first American composer recorded by an American record company in 1933. Uh, that was Columbia Records. Um, he was a member of the first cultural exchange to the Soviet Union, and at the time of his death, uh, he was the uh, composer laureate for the state of California. The Bicentennial Symphony premiered in 1976 and has never been performed since. And that is very conspicuous to me. And I set out on a journey to bring that to the American public again. The Bicentennial Symphony was uh, commissioned by California State University in Los Angeles. Uh, it premiered at the Kennedy Center uh, February 10, 11, and 12 of 1976. Incidentally, uh, Roy Harris was born on February 12th, uh, same birth date as Abraham Lincoln. In addition, he was born in Lincoln County, but in Oklahoma, and he uh, really felt foreshadowed by Abraham Lincoln and had great admiration for uh, President Lincoln. In Roy's thinking, the Constitution, uh, Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation, saving the nation, and freeing the slaves were uh, very, uh, well, well, those were the subjects that he used to uh, uh, exemplify or to speak to our great history for 200 years. And, uh, the, the work is not only in orchestra, which means sound only, it has text. And so, uh, so there are specific words that we c can relate to and picture in our minds. The work is not a Beethovenish type symphony in which there are um, a compelling movements it's, it's, it's text-based, and the, it's uh, unique in that it's using these great American texts to music, and I think that in itself uh, uh, should be preserved and um, kept as a record of his perspective of American history uh, as a great American composer.